The following is taken from Way of the Rope 2. For ropes and more rope flow tutorials, go to wayoftherope.com. Welcome to the Way of the Rope Intermediate Guide. By now you should have a good understanding and feel within your body for all the movement patterns covered in the Beginner's Guide. In the Intermediate Guide we're going to cover some more key principles and body positioning to think about while you're doing the movement patterns. I'm going to teach you five new movement patterns and we're going to cover some flows that feel good and teach good sequencing into the body. If you want to do this with a heavier rope, I think you're ready by now. If not, the old rope will work fine. Let's get rolling, shall we? Here are some key body cues and principles to think about whilst you continue your rope journey. Number one for me is focus point. While you roll the rope, I think it's very important to have a focus point for the eyes on the horizon or around eye level every time you're swinging the rope so your head just doesn't bob around looking slack. When we're rolling rope, we're mimicking sword play to an extent or hunting. And when you're doing this, you're in the zone and you're focused. And I think the eyes need to feel that way too, to lead the body. It's also good posture to keep your chin tucked and extend through the crown of your head. As well as that, we want to tuck our tailbone using our abdominal muscles to do so. For foot positioning, I think it's strong to be slightly pigeon footed where the toes are kind of pointing in and the heels pointing out, but this has to be directed from the core, not just by swinging the ankles out. The point of contact with the floor, we call this the green dots. This is on the ball of the foot towards the outside, just beneath the fourth and fifth toe. That's where you want to have the most contact, the first and last contact with the floor as you're rolling the rope. It's very important to remember that it's the rotational movement that drives the rope to swing over. It's not the skipping motion of swinging the arms up and down, it's the rotation that drives the rope to move. And the final point is that if you want to make it slightly more challenging for yourself, you can always shorten the rope and this will encourage you to have even better technique. Let's get rolling and working on those new patterns. 